Okay, dear students. So let us see what is there in this question. A 12 volt battery has an internal resistance of 2 ohm. A load of variable resistance is connected across the battery and adjusted to have the resistance equal to the internal resistance of the battery that is 2 ohm. Which statement is correct for the circuit? Option A, the current in the battery is 6 ampere. The potential difference across the load is 12 volt. Okay, fine. So in the first question, uh, in the first option, they're talking about current. In the second, potential difference. Third is power and then the resistance in the circuit. So first of all, let us make that, that circuit here. So what is this? First of all, there is this battery and battery is having an internal resistance. It is 12 volt and the internal resistance is 2 ohm. Now, it is having an external resistance connected here and this external resistance is also 2 ohm. This is given in our question statement only. So first of all, what is the current in the circuit? Let us see. Now, I is equal to V divided by R and in such cases, what we do is voltage will be taken as 12 and both of these resistances will be treated as if both of them are in series. So it will become 4 ohm. So we divide it by 4 and our answer is coming out to be 3 ampere. It means 3 ampere is the total current that is moving in this circuit. So our first option is absolutely wrong. Okay then, moving next, the potential difference across the load is 12 volt. So this resistance is the load resistance and this potential difference specifically talks about the potential difference across this 2 ohm. So what, what should be that potential? So V is equal to IR and when we are concerned with this resistance, what is the current that is passing through it? It is 3 amperes multiplied by 2, so it becomes 6 volt and the option says that it should be 12 volt. So even the option number B is also wrong. So now uh, let us see the question number, the part number C. The power dissipated in the battery is 18 watt. Now this is the tricky part of the question. The question says what is the power dissipated in the battery? But the problem is battery actually supplies the power. There, there should be no dissipation of the power inside the battery. The battery should, is the supplier of the power. So how can you say that the power is dissipated? The power is dissipated only and only in the resistance. Does our battery have a resistance? Yes, that is known as internal resistance. And internal resistance is 2 ohm. It means the question now is talking about the power consumed by this resistance. So what is the power consumed by this resistance? Let us see. The formula for the power consumed is I square R. This is power dissipated. I want to be very, very uh, clear at this point. There are three different formulas for the power. <clears throat> On the surface, all of these, they look similar to us and we see that all of the formulas are the same, but they are not. P is equal to VI is used when you are supposed to find the power supplied by the battery. So that will be P is equal to VI. I square R is the power dissipated in the resistances. So third case is completely different and we would be discussing only if there need, if, if there be any need. So now we are concerned with this. So we are applying this formula. So 3 ampere is the current that is passing. So I can say it is 3 square into 2. So it is 9 into 2. That is 18 watt. So exactly the answer will be C. The power dissipated inside the battery is 18 volt. And this is how we solve this question. Now the, the D part is the resistance of the circuit is 2. No, not at all. Because these two resistances will be treated in series. And the R equivalent, the total resistance for the circuit is 4 ohm. So even D option is wrong. So this is how we do it. My dear students, what is this? Now V into I. So what is the voltage? 12 into 3. So 12 threes are 36 watt. What is this 36 watt? 36 watt is the total power supplied by the battery, which will be equal to the total power consumed in the in this circuit. But in the question, they, are, they want us to find 
power dissipated inside the battery. So this is how we do it.